everyone. Well, I'm going to be painting a series of Dorset scenes with Dorset Blue. Um, what I'm going to use for each one of our scenes is my own Dorset Blue paint, which I had made because I wanted a really strong tonal range. And this goes from very, very light to very, very dark. And we only need to use this tube of paint, possibly a little bit of white gouache if we need to bring back a highlight we've lost. Um, some masking fluid, I'm using a Marilyn Ellis block which is about a quarter imperial size, £140. Um, I can get loads and loads of water on for this, it's um, gummed around the edges, so perfect, don't need to stretch, nice and quick and easy. And the three brushes that I will be using are all Marilyn Ellis brushes, um, they all have a really good point, let's um, show you, so they all point up even the very big ones, dip that into some water and that means that we can go in with detail and um, we don't have to keep changing brushes. Another of my favourite subjects, Corf Castle and a steam train. Um, done in Dorset Blue, it will be beautiful. Um, I've done a little bit of masking out so that I get those really strong whites and I've done a little bit of splattering with masking fluid just here. So now we'll start painting.
think I've got very much more to do. I'm just going to tidy up this little bit here. It's got a bit more sort of dark underneath that roof. I want to keep it loose. I really do like the looseness of this. Tidy up. There's a light railing that's not very big there. The shape of that. Dark hair there. And I could do maybe with a little bit more definition on these bits. But not too much. I think the danger is that I could overwork this and I think it's looking quite nice. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So I hope you've enjoyed another Dorset Blue and I think we can think of many more paintings to do. So thank you for watching.